happier. I've never had this much fun in Kamala Land, I'll be honest. <laughs> Uh, did you hear all the stuff about her declining Joe Rogan's podcast? Yeah, and yeah. let's go through it, though. Then the right wing. I mean, we could just talk about it. I don't know if there's anything to go through necessarily. Well, I, I mean, you know, if, uh, Democrats are fucking hilarious. They're calling uh, Joe Rogan a diva for for not wanting to accept Kamala's terms. It's like, no, if 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 the if the president who or if the former president who is running now can bring his ass down to Joe Rogan and talk to Joe Rogan, then you can bring your ass down and talk to Joe Rogan in the same settings. There's no, there's no just demanding shit. It's either you talk to Joe or you don't. Right, right. So, and I and I saw even on the JD Vance one, he said he was like, "This is the first time I've been without Secret Service in the same room with me mm -hmm. for for like I think six months or something like that. No, it was like a couple months. But um, point being is that they they, they even made special conditions on their side of like all right we'll we'll do this for, for joe right you know what i mean they understand like that the importance of like it's not even joe rogan it's the fact that it's one of the few places you can have a celebrity or somebody just sit there and sound like a regular person right that's kind of the appeal of joe rogan right and that's why we wanted to see both candidates sit and do that well she did do club shay shay Huh? You didn't see the Club Shay Shay? <laughs> I guess I can pull that clip up, right? <laughs> we gotta see the Club Shay Shay. She ain't drink that yet. Chris, why ain't she ain't drink the yet? Isn't Club Shay Shay a little uh edited? Of course. Of course. That's what it is. She doesn't want to be in an unedited. Now, I will say the Cat Williams, I don't think the Cat Williams thing was edited, right? I don't think that was edited. But I think if if you were to ask me. If Kamala Harris asked him to edit something out, if he would do it, 1,000%. This is what I'm saying. Is the, this is why Joe Rogan's whole setup is different. Is His thing is, come here, sit in this like raw kind of setting. Me and you in front of mics. It's like very old school. There's no fancy, you know, there's a couple lights in the background, but mm. it's like... Got Jamie back there. Yeah, Jamie over there pulling stuff up. Getting paid millions to pull things up. Um... But yeah, that's like, it's it's something different. And the fact is that she wanted Joe Rogan to change his entire format, mm -hmm. which he never does for anybody. Nobody. Anybody. And that's his right as what he does for his show. And the fact is that she wanted it to be a sterile, edited, we control the editing process environment. Yep. And I'm sure if she said something stupid, she would have told, hey, Joe, they would have told Joe, hey, take that, take, take that out. out. Yeah, mm -hmm. which he would have said something stupid. That's why she wanted it to be like Controlled. an hour, which Joe doesn't even do that. An hour from Joe Rogan is insane. Sometimes he does like an hour and a half. Sometimes he'll do two hours. Sometimes he'll do five hours. Like it's just, it's what the conversation is. Mm -hmm. So it's like we, un like she thinks we're stupid or her team thinks we're stupid and we don't know what Joe Rogan does. Right. You know what I mean? I guess let's play Club Shay Shay. She also did. Sponsored by Black Ops, Call, Call of Duty Black Ops 6, which you can find me on Twitch playing Skrill Kill. Let me guess there's. S K R I L L K I L. Let me guess there's trans players. No, actually, I'm happy. Well, I haven't, I haven't played the full story mode yet, but I haven't seen that. There is a lot of. Um, women? A, a lot of women leaders. There's a lot of that. So there's that. <laughs> Too many in real life as well. Let's hear her on Club Shay Shay, at least a couple seconds, because I do have a, a good clip of her on Howard Stern. All those, all that dick sucking paid off for him. How, she went on Howard Stern? Howard really? Stern, and he, oh, he ball washed her. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's pitiful, but let's hear Club Shay Shay. My mother, um, she, she understood that there is a, community that she wanted her children to be raised in mm -hmm. and she was very intentional and purposeful about that and so i always say to people even when i took the stage as the nominee for the democratic nomination that you know there is the family that you have by birth and there is also the family you have by love and they're equally family yes. right and i learned that from my mother so my mother i had all these aunties and uncles my Uncle Sherman, who was one of the first black men to graduate from B Berkeley School of Law, who, when we were young... I am her Uncle Sherman. 
First black man to uh <laughs> fuck. <laughs> the family sometimes family is love. It's not just actual family. So, you know. Exactly. Yeah. I've sometimes seen. you uh you do get to pick your own brother. <laughs> The fuck is she talking about? I don't know, bro. <laughs> what was the question? I forgot it already. God damn. I'm surprised she didn't start with, I was born in a middle class family. <laughs> like, you know, you know, Unburdened made its, uh, its way back in the show. Oh, did it? Yeah, she said it. She said it on here? Mm-hmm. God damn. Yeah, she, she fell back into her roots. Some girls sat us down and taught us how to play chess. Because Uncle Sherman said, you need to understand how the chessboard works because that's the way the world works. They're going to be different players with different moves. Mm -hmm. And you need to see the whole board. Mm -hmm. My mother raised us around, like my Auntie Chris, who went to Howard in the 50s. By the way, the way she explained what chess is, you could tell she has no idea how to fucking play it. Different different players got different moves. Different, hey, different. She didn't even say different pieces. She said different players have different moves. No, no, lady. A pawn is a pawn, and it's always going to get squashed. There's a horsey and a castle <laughs> and a king and a queen. I'll take that back. A pawn could be useful. That's why they're pawns. What I like to do is I like to uh, intertwine the pieces, and I'll put the white king with the black king and the white queen with the black queen togetherness coexist and then we play that way <laughs> and then we play that way it's fucking retarded <laughs> <laughs> she has no idea how to play chess she never learned she just thinks that's a thing that makes her sound smart it's like every yeah. black movie you watch um the older whenever, leader plays chess they always want to signify this is the smart black guy he plays chess, and he always has that uh, that conversation. Now, this the rook. This rook be moving sideways, diagonal. My favorite part is when they're playing. <laughs> they're playing and not even, like, paying attention to the game, and then they got to walk off, and then they win on the walk off. They're like, oh, wait, before I go. Yeah. All right, peace. By the <laughs> way, I'm, a, I'm an idiot after criticizing her. It's the bishop that moves diagonal, just to make sure people know. Hey, that. listen, you fixed it. You fixed it. That means you know a little bit. <laughs> I know a little bit here. Um, yeah, that's what she was. I think she was trying to go for. I'm smart. Didn't they play? Didn't they have a chess scene in Boys in the Hood? Yeah, I think. Um, I think the dad was playing. I think Lawrence Fitchburn was playing chess. No, he did the thing where he like had like he burned sage and oh, yeah, all those like fucking... ringing balls to make him seem like more deep than he was. That was to calm himself down. He just wanted to make sure Trey was all right. <laughs> just wanted Trey was all right, man. He was worried about his son. It's the only one he got. Oh, I have another. Allegedly. Oh, wait, wait. I have to do the Howard Stern, right? Yeah. Has to be we, yeah, Stern. we're talking about her media appearances now. Let's see. And yeah, also, but- women, I don't think... I have a theory that women... Oh, well. Women can't understand chess. Like they can't get it. Is that is that just your misogyny, or you actually believe that? I believe it. It's partially my misogyny, sexism. <laughs> a little bit of that. Um, not misogyny. I don't hate them because they don't know how to play chess. Okay, I just enough. think they're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they're they're. It's a thing. They're not designed to understand it. Okay, like the idea of. Whenever I've ever, I've taught, tried to teach women how to play chess before. Whenever I tell them th- these are the pawns, they get basically like, they're, they're your soldiers. They get sacrificed, right. more or less. Right, right. They go first. Why would they do that to them? <laughs> they like get emotional and can't understand that sometimes some pieces got to fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep them all. I want to save them all. You nah, can't. That's funny. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the queen doing all the work? <laughs> <laughs> he, the king could do some things too. Why do we have to protect the king? Because the the kingdom dies without him. You die, we just replace you. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> Not how it works. Yeah. Oh, shit. We'll honor you. We'll remember you. We'll miss you. Sorry. <laughs> That's why they can't understand chess. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> All right, here she is. Now, this is more of a Howard Stern, like, fagging out here. I'm just going to play it. Fuck it. I'm not even going to explain yeah, it. Yeah, don't pollute the debate. Pollute the debate. When I met you out in the hall, I said, I'm really nervous because I want this to go well for you. I want it to go well for the country. Even when I watch them on Saturday Night Live with the, um, where they have Maya Rudolph playing yeah. you, mm -hmm. I hate it. I don't want you being made fun of. Mm -hmm. I, 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 it, there's too much at stake. I believe the entire future of this country right now, I mean, as America, land of the free, home of the brave, I think it's literally on the line. I agree with you. And, and when I see them, how did you react to the Saturday Night Live bit? Well, I just saw it, actually, and it was funny. I, I am a huge fan of Maya Rudolph's. So I think she put a lot of time into the, to doing the, the, the piece and, and, and the character. Um, but to your point, I literally lose sleep yeah. and have been over what is at stake in this election. I mean, honestly, I, I end the day pretty much every day these days asking myself, what can I do more? Yeah. Um, you know why you, you know why you're doing that, Kamala? Because you're losing. <laughs> you're losing. You know <laughs> you're, you're gonna lose. Bad. You're failing. You're failing your party. You're failing your voters. And that's why you're losing sleep. And you're fucking failing what else? Your 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 family that you, you brag about all the time. <laughs> Maya Rudolph. I think Maya because Kamala Man says Maya Rudolph does a horrible Kamala. I think it's pretty good. Uh, I don't think I've seen it. No? No. Nah, well, watch it on your own time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pulling that shit up. Uh, it's, it's just as annoying. And she's just as black. <laughs> <laughs> that lady was not black. Maya Rudolph, that lady was not black. She's half black. Really? You know who her mother was, right? Uh, who? Minnie Ripperton. Really? The singer. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Holy shit. I was I was uninformed. Yeah, uh, Minnie Ripperton, before she died, she does a rendition of uh Loving You mm -hmm. and she sings her she sings Maya throughout it instead of something else. But okay. yeah. She did it as a tribute to Maya Rudolph, to her, her daughter. daughter. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Fun fact. Um let me see. I've seen better Kamala's on Twitter. I suppose, I suppose. <laughs> Yo, who said that? Well, the reason why I think Maya's is good is because she gets the whole thing down. It's like kind of like uh, Shane Gillis when he does Trump. Yeah. His is probably the best because he does the whole getup. Yeah. And it's like he does all the facial expressions and Mannerisms, everything. Mannerisms, all that. Yeah, some people just do it, but they only get the voice down. That's what I've seen on Twitter for the most part. But, I got you know, you. matter of taste, I guess. Uh, well, it's, it, first off, the ball washing of, I don't want to see you get made fun of. I see what's at stake. It's like, is this the same Howard Stern? The fate of the country's on the line. That made fun of everybody? I'm just so sick of these people who, again, these are people who have money. Like, they're, they're okay. They don't give a fuck about the, the everyday person who has to go to work and, and take home less money that they did three years ago. They don't give a fuck about that. So they don't understand why it is that we want to vote for Trump. It's because this administration has dropped the ball in every turn. You look at inflation, which they try to blame on Trump. Again, it's that we're talking three years after Trump's been out of office. We got um, uh, immigration, which is at its highest level it's ever been. Veterans are still not being taken care of. The wars that have been going on. Two major on, wars. Which, which are really about to come to a fucking head. Mm-hmm. And possibly more wars starting. Trump, Trump is the first president within the last how many presidents within our lifetime that has not started any new wars. You know how huge that is? It's like we want a guy who's not going to start any wars or, or be in any wars. And, and it's actually crazy. See, the thing about it is they don't want to put him in because he's crazy. I want him in because he's crazy and people aren't going to fuck with crazy. And this is where lefties try to argue with us where they go... Oh, well, he's, he kept uh, continuing uh, wars and this and that, and he killed Soleimani and all that. It's like, yes, we understand that he he had uh, military operations that he did. That's not the point. Right. The point is there was no new war started. World War Three didn't start the way you guys said it was going to. 
It didn't start at all, like you guys said it was going to. Mm -hmm. He made peace with uh, fucking Kim Jong-il, or Un, mm -hmm. one of those fucking <laughs> syllables. <laughs> I mean, he was the first president to, to cross the North Korean border, ever. Right. And shake the hands with the, with the fucking dictator. Which had to have left an impression on, on the guy who, for generations, hasn't had contact with any American leadership. And who supposedly admired Donald Trump, who liked him. He would have to for even, even doing that. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. And again, it's just, it's projection where they go, we know what's at stake. It's like, yeah, you guys are trying to destroy the, con the country and we're stopping you. We're Absolutely. stopping you from destroying the country. We know what's at stake too. Yes. Yeah. And that's why we're going to be voting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to, uh, she said something else. Wait, there was something else I wanted to. Well, I just saw it, actually. I believe the entire future of this country right now, I mean, as America, land of the free, home of the brave, I think it's literally on the line. I agree with you. And, and when I see them, how did you react to this Saturday night? Oh, yeah, yeah, the thing that's, that I think is funny, too, even though she does kind of go into the I lose sleep thing, she did kind of bitch out. Howard Stern a little bit because he's going off on this fucking like you know old Jew panicky Jew fucking tangent I don't even want them making fun of you I I think it's bad it's abhorrent for the country and she was like oh it was kind of funny she's like I mean it's funny <laughs> it's like, you know, damn was Kamala just, more human than uh, Howard Stern untuck your dick for a second <laughs> <laughs> oh man Jesus well, you know what it is, too, though. She had to say that because it's another woman of color mm. who's technically Ooh. probably blacker than her. Do you think if it was a white girl, she would have had a problem with it? Probably. Oh, of course. Probably. It's racist. She can't say that. And plus, Maya Rudolph is a well-known, like, kind of loved celebrity. Okay. So, I mean, she, you know, look at her mother. I got you. you now, nah, you, you gave the science. You did the knowledge. I did the knowledge. I did the knowledge. 